China has just achieved a remarkable milestone in the development of their reusable rocket technology. And the technical details are nothing short of exciting. A 130-ton thrust kerosene liquid oxygen engine that can be ignited multiple times during a mission and adjust its thrust levels with pinpoint precision. This cutting-edge engine, developed by the brilliant minds at the Academy of Aerospace Propulsion Technology, is set to revolutionize the way China approaches reusable rockets and could very well be their key to unlocking affordable, frequent access to space. What's up, spacers? This is your specialist, the Space Technician. So, this technology might be revolutionary to China, but is it for the rest of us? Well, what makes this engine truly interesting is its uncanny resemblance to the pioneering technology behind SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. That's right, China appears to be following in the footsteps of Elon Musk's groundbreaking creation which has already proven the viability and cost-effectiveness of reusable rocket stages. By developing their own version of this technology, China is positioning itself to become a major player in the global launch market and could potentially challenge SpaceX's dominance in the field. So, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of this new engine, its recent achievement, and explore how China is taking cues from SpaceX to revolutionize their own space program. Remember, Strapping in is optional, but recommended. Now, before we get into the details of this new engine, let's take a look at China's impressive track record in the space industry. Over the past few decades, China has made significant strides in advancing its space capabilities, with notable achievements like the Shenzhou missions, which have sent Chinese astronauts into orbit, and the Chang'e Lunar Exploration Program which has seen the successful landing of rovers on the moon's surface. More recently, China has also launched the Tiangong Space Station, showcasing their growing prowess in long-duration spaceflight and orbital operations. Shameless plug, check out the videos we have on this channel to learn more about those missions. However, in recent years, China has recognized the importance of developing reusable rocket technology as a means to make spaceflight more affordable and accessible. This is where SpaceX comes in. The American company, led by Elon Musk, has been at the forefront of reusable rocket technology, with their Falcon 9 rocket proving the concept and setting the standard for the industry. Now, let's get back to the star of the show, China's new 130-ton thrust kerosene liquid oxygen engine, developed by the Academy of Aerospace Propulsion Technology, AAPT. This engine is a true marvel of engineering. It's based on the YF-100 engine, which has been used on China's Long March 5, 6, 7, and 8 rockets, but with some seriously impressive upgrades that bring it closer to the capabilities of SpaceX's Merlin engines. One of the most notable features of this new engine is its ability to be ignited multiple times during a mission and to adjust its thrust levels as needed. This is a crucial capability for reusable rockets, as it allows for greater control and flexibility during the various stages of flight. According to Zhou Xianqi, a researcher at AAPT, this multiple start and variable thrust capability is essential for ensuring the engine's safety and reliability, two factors that are absolutely critical when dealing with reusable rockets. Now, here's where things get really exciting. On April 14, this engine absolutely aced two consecutive ground ignition tests near Xi'an, in Shanxi province. But that's not all. To date, it has passed a total of 15 repeated tests, 30 ignition starts, and accumulated more than 3,900 seconds of hot fire testing. That's over an hour of total burn time. To put that into perspective, this engine has already surpassed the previous record for liquid rocket main engine testing in China. But more than that, it's also starting to approach the level of testing and reliability that we've seen from SpaceX's Merlin engines. This is a huge accomplishment and suggests that China is well on its way to developing a truly reusable rocket engine that can compete with the best in the world. So, what's next for this incredible engine? Well, it's expected to power the Long March 10, a new rocket designed specifically for human spaceflight and crewed missions to the moon. That's right, China is planning to send astronauts to the lunar surface 
before 2030, and this engine is going to play a crucial role in making that happen. In fact, we could see the first test flight of the Long March 10 as early as next year, thanks in large part to the success of this new engine. This recent testing milestone is a massive boost to China's plans and brings them one giant leap closer to achieving their lunar ambitions and potentially even surpassing the achievements of other space powers like the United States and Russia. Now, let's talk about reusability for a moment. One of the key advantages of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket is its ability to land vertically on a pad or a drone ship. Thanks to its innovative use of landing legs and precise thrust control, this allows SpaceX to recover and reuse the first stage of the rocket, significantly reducing the cost of each launch. China, however, is taking a slightly different approach with their Long March rockets. Instead of using landing legs, the rocket stages will be caught by a grid of constricting wires. That's right, these rockets will be essentially snagged out of the air by a huge net, in a process that's reminiscent of the way aircraft carriers catch planes with arresting wires. While this approach may seem a bit unconventional, it could prove to be just as effective as SpaceX's landing system. The restartable variable thrust capabilities of the new engine will allow the Long March rockets to control their return to Earth and descent with incredible precision, making it possible to guide the rocket stages into the waiting arms of the wire grid. So, what does all this mean for the future of spaceflight? Well, as we've seen with SpaceX, reusable rockets are a game changer when it comes to reducing the cost of accessing space. By recovering and reusing the most expensive components of a rocket, like the engines and first stages, companies can significantly cut down on the price tag of each launch. And that opens up a whole new world of possibilities. If China can successfully develop and deploy its own reusable rocket technology, powered by this new engine, it could become a major player in the global launch market. We could see China offering affordable and reliable access to space for a wide range of customers, from commercial satellite operators to scientific research institutions. But it's not just about the money. Reusable rockets could also open up entirely new frontiers for space exploration and scientific discovery. With lower launch costs, we could see more frequent missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. We could establish permanent bases on other worlds, conduct groundbreaking experiments in microgravity, and maybe even take the first steps toward becoming a truly space-faring civilization. Well, there you have it, spacers. China's new reusable rocket engine is an absolute beast, and its recent testing successes are a massive milestone for their space program. But what's really intriguing is how China is taking inspiration from SpaceX and using that to drive their own innovation and progress. With its multiple start and variable thrust capabilities, this engine is poised to power the Long March 10 and China's ambitious plans for crewed lunar missions. And by catching the rocket stages with a wire grid, China is putting its own unique spin on the concept of reusability, one that could prove to be just as effective as SpaceX's landing system. But more than that, this development is a reminder of just how quickly the world of spaceflight is evolving. As more and more countries and companies invest in reusable rocket technology, we're entering a new era of space exploration, one where the final frontier is more accessible than ever. So, keep your eyes on the sky, spacers, because the future of spaceflight is looking brighter than ever. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome space content. This is the Space Technician, signing off for now. And I'll see you space cowboys in the next one.